वी आर हियर एट द एट्थ एडिशन ऑफ यहा एंड वी हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट विथ अस ब्रिजेश प्रताप वेलकम सर सर माई फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू इज हाउ डू यू सी द प्रेजेंट स्टेट ऑफ हॉस्पिटैलिटी सेक्टर एंड वॉट आर द की ट्रेंड दैट यू फोर सी सेपिंग इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव टू एट टेन ईयर्स रिगार्डिंग क्लीनिंग एंड हाइजीन इन द हॉस्पिटैलिटी the present state of uh, hospitality in uh-huh. india i i see a very positive momentum which is in favor of india mm. and when i say positive momentum the arrs are going up the occupancy is going up um the number of rooms which are required right now is in the tune of 50000 rooms and we are not able to fill those number of rooms year after year so there is always a deficit which means that the arrs and the occupancy would continue to rise from here onwards which means which is a good news for the owners as well as for the management companies and the franchises so i see a very positive uh, trend as far as the hospitality industry is concerned uh, from here up to the next few years uh, when it comes to cleaning and hygiene <clears throat> uh, how the next 5 to 10 years would look like uh, i would see increasingly the hospitality companies adopting the practices which are more sustainable which involves less use of water chemicals plastic and a reduction in the food waste uh, right now it is being practiced with the top tier of the hotels but over a period of next 5 to 10 years i expect the government policies to come where it would be mandated for anybody who is constructing a hotel right from the ground breaking up to the operation of the hotels to follow those norms which would ensure that uh, the carbon emission is at its minimum and you are producing lot of activities which are more towards positive carbon uh, uh, emissions than the negative carbon emissions so also i want to come on the minister statement on budget and economy hotels what are your views on that i think that is very encouraging uh, uh, news from the from the from the minister uh, but this is something which uh, has been the endeavor of uh, the current government and the dispensation for quite some time uh, so it is not something which is all of a sudden they have been working in that particular direction uh, the biggest mandate which the government has why it is there in uh, after the 2024 election is to produce jobs and tourism time and again has proven is the biggest employer of people uh, so i'm not very surprised when the minister says that this would continue to be our focus area essentially to create jobs uh and also to export the cultural uh, element of india where india has so much of diversity so uh, this is something which is a welcome uh, step uh, coming in from the government also sir we have lot of in- initiatives to boost the tourism in the country what policy changes would you recommend the government for to boost the t- tourism further okay india is one unique place where the uh, turnaround for the hotels is anywhere from 7 years to 15 years depending upon where you are constructing the hotel so i think if government gives it a uh, industry status uh, then i believe the whole cost of constructing a hotel uh, would come down which would ensure that more and more people are coming into this particular business right now we see only those people getting into this business who are very passionate about hotel uh, as as a as a industry uh, and not many fiis are actually putting in the money here in the because of the break even period being too long so i expect the government to come out with policy statements which ensures that the break even is sooner for the owners who are investing money and the second is for any hotel or for any restaurant to come up you require huge number of licenses which is which is a nightmare for any owner so i would expect a single window clearance for the hoteliers so that they don't have to run around 50 agencies to get 50 licenses also sir a bw hotelier is co- going to complete stay in year in this sector how do you see the role of bw hotelier in the hospitality sector hospitality sector so oh, bw hotelier has played a very pivotal role when it comes to spreading the awareness bringing the whole family under one roof what we see today here and uh, creating awareness on what is coming what the trends are and bringing the thought le- leaders uh, together to ensure that we pick up the right practices at a very early stage so congratulations to bw for completing the uh, 10 years and um, this is something which uh, i would uh, believe that it is going to go from strength to strength here onwards and uh, would continue to transform the industry
थैंक यू सो मच सर इट वॉज वॉन्डर